So, Jean, are you ready for something different? I'm so ready. Okay, so this is the KX700 Evertune, and as far as I know, you have never played an Evertune system before. I've never played any Intune guitar before, <laughs> so I'm excited for this. Fair yeah. enough, fair yeah. enough. Yep, this will definitely change your whole life, your entire life. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm going to give this to you right now, just a fresh start, and see what you're going to do with it. All right. Are you ready? Let's try it out. Okay, right. one, let's two, and three. Got. All right, and we're on. This is the Evertune system. Yep. I've heard a lot about these, but I've never played these. It just never goes out of tune. Yes, and it's like, get up in the morning and try to do some bending. Right, like... I promise you I'm doing the nastiest blues bends you've ever heard right, right. now. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's just perfectly in tune. You can't bend it out of tune either. Right. It's not like locking tuners were like, oh, it'll stay in tune. It's like it just can't be out of tune. There's a way to fine tune it to your needs, depending on what, what bending ratio you want. But specifically, if you do any like chordal approach, any chords progressions, right, that's where it's gonna really stand out and help you. You know, it's funny. Uh, I have some friends who do uh, soundtracks for like video games and like movies and trailers and stuff. And they're a big fan of the Evertune stuff because their stuff is so precise that like you just can't have anything out of tune. It doesn't have that that kind of sloppy. Like it's not maybe not a blues playing machine, but but like you were saying, like for any kind of chord. I don't understand how this works at all. There's a special mechanism in the back that we can have a closer look later. But yeah, as you mentioned that before, if you're like a composer or something, mm -hmm. you're competing with sample libraries, which yeah. are like perfect pitch tune, uh -huh. this would be perfect guitar. Did, did, did you notice how he did that? There's a special mechanism. That means I don't know how it works. So there's a special mechanism in the back here. It's really special. It keeps it in tune all the time. I do, but it's top secret. Spec check. Evertune Bridge System. Mahogany body with ash top, staggered locking tuners, Seymour Duncan sentient neck pickup, and Nazgul bridge pickup, stainless steel frets, luminlay sight dots, five piece maple and walnut neck, ebony fingerboard, spoke knot hot rod truss rod. And a lot of what I do is I just do like a, like a duo, where it's like maybe one person on guitar and like a singer or something like that. So there's a lot of pressure on me to just keep the... Just to keep it going right. and keep it moving, where the guitar is like really a, a percussion instrument also, essentially. I'm not worried about doing like blues, bends, or, or anything like that. So to be able to do this in an environment that could be dynamically changing, like, you know, if you're playing outdoor gigs and it gets cold all of a sudden, you know, you have to retune. Sometimes you feel like you need to retune in the middle of a song. So to not even ever have to worry about that eh, is, is amazing to me. Still have no idea how it works. <laughs> That's top secret. But, but apparently it happens in, in the back yes. and on the tuning here. And aside from that, I mean the pickups uh, sound great. That's just on the neck and then uh, middle. Bridge. We have the sentient Seymour Duncan. In the neck. And then what about the bridge? That's the Seymour Duncan Nazgul. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, all right, cool. Sounds pretty. It, uh, it's, uh, it makes me sound like I. Like I word. Yes, yes, right? Uh, very, very metal. Yeah. The Nazgul. Absolutely. Right? You could fight in some kind of like ancient war. I gotta tell you, I don't usually love black guitars just because like they're kind of glare machines, but this one is just sexy. Like what what is this? That's an ash top and a matte finish. Love it. And then what do we go to what do we go Mahogany to? Mahogany body, the back end of the sights. I love that. Uh binding. Binding is key for that. Also to uh the cutaway, it has like a, a scoop right here, which is like super, super comfortable. And uh, the neck joint too. This is super comfortable guitar. And you might notice how light it is too, being mahogany. In though. Incredibly light. Yeah. 
So my buddy Sean, what do you think about a guitar? Man, a guitar that never goes out of tune and a look that never goes out of style, I'm sold. So that's the X700 Evertune.